Sup guys, welcome back to another Pro Day reaction video. This is Tillin Wallace. Tillin, I've heard of many, many Dillons, but never a Tillin. T-Y-L-A-N, Wallace. Um, it looks as if he's a wide out, W-O, so we're talking wide receiver. Uh, don't know what school he went to, but all of that and more will be revealed. It's his Pro Day highlights. It was brought out yesterday, and... Um, I hope you enjoy, and I hope I enjoy. I'm sure I will. Let's have a look. Ty, they call him Ty. And that is 33 inches on the vertical. He looks tall. Get 10, bro. Oh, oh no, he lost form on that last rep. Hmm, he had another one or two in him. That's how, that's how important form is, guys. And that's quick. Let's have a look again. That's some good form, man. Definitely. The length of time that he kept his head down. I mean, these guys train specifically for the, the the combine usually, but but for the pro day this year, they do train specifically for that. They'll be working with coaches, specifically working on their broad jump, their vertical jump, and you know their forty yard dashes and and the three cone drill and the the, sh the short shuttle and and whatever else they need to do. Well, actually, oh, and the bench press. So the six disciplines they'd be specifically working on, and it showed in that forty yard dash. I like that. Man, he was lucky not to fall over there. That was a lovely turn around that cone. I like that. Oh no. Did you see him turn up the gears when he realized he had to? I mean, I'm telling you, in the NFL, you need to make those catches. Especially uncontested, but you know it's not the easiest. God, um, look, don't don't at me, but it's yeah, it's certainly not the easiest catch. But you would have loved to get it. There we go. There we go. Catch that one, catch that one, catch that one. Oh! Unlucky, unlucky, man. I tell you what, I tell you what, I'd be having a stern talking to that quarterback if I was him. No, I'm just joking. Anyway, uh, let's look up his stats. Tillon Wallace, Tillon Michael Wallace, born May 13th, 1999, 21 years of age, six foot even, 185 pounds. Wide receiver for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. I don't think I've ever seen them play. He was a first team All-American in 2018. As attended South Hills High School in Fort Worth, Texas. During his high school career, he had 182 receptions for 3,760 3, yards and 48 touchdowns. That He averaged over 20 yards per reception during his entire high school career. Committed to Oklahoma State University along with his twin brother, Trayson. As a freshman at Oklahoma in 2017, he played in 13 games and had seven receptions for 118 yards. He became a starter in 2018. Okay. Let me see if we can find some more stats. Pro Football Network. 
Although the Oklahoma State Cowboys didn't have one player drafted in 2020, the program has a rich history of sending talent into the NFL. In a stacked wide receiver class for the 2021 NFL Draft, Tillam Wallace may not quite be able to join that group of first-round talent out of Oklahoma State. However, there is no doubt that he is one of the most exciting and productive talents. He should garner early round consideration at the very least. Injury issues derailed his 2019 season before returning to action in 2020. He tore his ACL in a practice session. Damn. Ending a season that was heading towards first round consideration in the 2020 NFL Draft. There is a devastating family history with career-threatening knee injuries with Trace and Wallace, Tillon's twin brother who suffered multiple injuries to the same knee. Although the injury ended Trayson's career early, I was actually wondering whether his twin brother was going to be in the draft or not, Tillam returned to action at the start of the 2020 college football season. Despite the disruption of the 2020 season and some minor injury niggles, he was once again a dominant force for Oklahoma State, compiling three 100-yard receiving games, and in doing so, he led the Big 12 Conference in receiving yards. Although his 922 receiving yards and seven touchdowns were some way short of his sophomore season, he was still one of the best receivers in college football. Okay. Oklahoma has timed him at 4.45 for the 40-yard dash. And most importantly, that speed translates to the field. All right. So I'm not going to say that he had the most impressive of uh, pro day outings. But these coaches know who he is, don't they? I mean, you'd hope so. Anyways, um, that was my reaction to Tillam Wallace. All the best. A twin brother. A twin brother who had multiple injuries on a knee and was taken out of the game far too early. That's tragic. But it's good to hear that Tillon has come back from a knee injury, a very a, a very serious knee injury, and has come back to ball out in his final year and get prepared for the draft. None of these guys had it easy this year. None of these guys had it easy this year with, with the way that the world went. So for anyone, any player out there who's who's making this draft after playing this last season, you know, sticking to their guns, playing it out, even though it wasn't the easiest, I give them respect. And with that, I say goodbye. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you at the draft. Peace out.